Juventus are one of the most tactically intriguing teams in the world. They've maintained a stranglehold over Italian football for the better part of this decade, winning six straight Serie A titles, three Coppa Italias and making two appearances in the final of the UEFA Champions League. Their last three Serie A triumphs have come under the watch of Massimiliano Allegri, a manager known for tactical versatility and implementing unorthodox methods to great success. With the old lady on course to challenge for her seventh straight Serie A title, we're taking a look at how Allegri has lined up his team this season. Juventus have started out in a variety of systems, though the 4-2-3-1 and 4-3-3 tend to be Allegri's preferred setups. He has a wealth of attacking talent to utilize and can field an attack-heavy side with four forwards in a 4-2-3-1, though their midfield lacks support in this system and are likely to be overrun. This is why a more balanced 4-3-3 has been effective for Juventus this season, as a solid midfield trio of Sami Khedira, Blaise Matuidi and Miralim Pjanic lay the foundation for Juventus' attacking stars to shine. When in possession, Juventus liked to build up play from defence. Both centre-halves split to either side of the box to receive short passes from goal kicks, with Pjanic usually sitting between them. The aim is to draw the opposition onto them, beat the press with quick passing and intelligent movement before threatening a high defensive line with passes in behind or attempt longer passes towards advanced fullbacks and wingers. In a 4-3-3, Kadira and Matuidi work as the team's shuttlers. They are tasked with providing a link between defence and attack as box-to-box -box midfielders and make attacking runs forward. These runs are useful for two main reasons. Firstly, Juventus can create overloads on the flanks when one central midfielder drifts towards the wing. This opens up the possibility for a switch, usually carried out by Pjanic, who plays raking diagonal passes to the other flank, finding his winger in a one-on-one -on -one against the opposition fullback. Both Juan Cuadrado and Douglas Costa possess immense ability in one-on-one -on -one situations, making this an effective tool for the Bianconeri. Secondly, the inside movement of the wingers combined with the dropping off of strikers allows chasms of space to open up for the fullbacks. Mario Mandzukic is good at timing his run into the box when Gonzalo Higuain drops off, dragging a defender with him. This creates time and space for a marauding fullback to whip crosses into the area a part of Juventus' game plan that enables them to get the most out of left-back Alexandro. Additionally, wide movements from central players will open space for Paolo Dybala, the Argentine who can roam free where he sees fit. He's comfortable working in much deeper positions than Higuain, often drawing several opposition players towards him, which not only creates space for others to join the attack, but leads to Dybala scoring goals of incredible individual brilliance. Defensively, Juventus hold a deep, compact shape, just their forwards apply pressure while the rest of the side retreats into position. They prioritise keeping their structure as a defensive unit when the ball is lost, sometimes even dropping all 11 players behind the ball in an organised 4-5-1 or 4-4-2 shape. More so, Allegri has his side shift effectively from a back four to a back three in some games, with their right-sided defender tucking in alongside the centre-halves which allows their more adventurous left-sided defenders to advance up the flank. In closing, Juventus's title-winning mentality is down to their blend of the dark arts with quick transitioning and attacking play. While the likes of Paolo Dybala and Gonzalo Higuain take the plaudits for scoring the bulk of their goals, it's the colossal spine of their side which has made them perennial champions. In Massimiliano Allegri, Juventus have a manager with the tactical know-how to shut down a game when required as well as the attacking personnel to turn on the style in an instant.